So this is uh, just a little thing about uh, how humans think and why our thinking processes are faulty. Um, anyway, uh, your brain is like the ultimate computer. It can instantly, seamlessly switch between its applications. So what's the problem with that? So um, when you're thinking, you don't realize what mode you're in. No one does. And uh, anyway, oops, sorry, wrong one. Um, <coughs> so here's one place where your brain uh, does not uh, act rationally. And uh, uh, it's uh, related to uh, naughty stuff. Anyway, so possible reasons on the next page. So we'll go to the next page. Oh, what am I doing? The, the mind is a biological computer. The mind switches between and turns off unneeded applications without notifying the user. So just like any computer, it'll just, if an application isn't needed or it's getting in the way, um, it gets switched off. So the application order, because it's biological, uh, reproduction is number one. Uh, humans are social animals and uh, social status uh, has a big, big automatic um, um, now ranking in in our thoughts process. So, if someone says someone something to you who's higher higher up in the pecking order on that particular thing, you're going to believe what he or she says um, just because he said it. So, I put down at number twenty five. Like there's lots of other things that come in line too, but rational thought. If it gets in the way, it's automatically turned off. And so the idea with this is always write down the mat when evaluating new ideas, just in case the thought process is turned off. And you're not going to know because uh, never trust your judgment because if it's if it's not written uh, written down, um, it's not judgment at all. Okay. So we're going a little segue. It's not really a segue, but yeah, I want to show you something here. History of water power. So around 250 BC in Greece, uh, there was just this blast of innovation. And uh, I guess no one really knows why, but Archimedes screw uh, was probably invented then and water wheels were probably invented then in the Western world. Um, we're not sure what went on in China. But anyway, uh, so Archimedes screw and water wheels and the first use of water wheels um, like th they say it was for um, you know as general water wheels for power but it might have been different it might have been they did uh, they had man powered water wheels for pumping water from mines and this is all through the Roman Empire in 50 AD so not that long after it's possible that mining uh, some mining contest or something like that might even have been the reason why they thought of the Archimedes screw on the water wheels. It's j just to pump water from mines. Uh, so it, but at this time, people knew that there was a dual, um, a dual purpose to water wheels. You could use water to power them, or they could provide the power to pump water. Uh, so, like I'm. I did a lot of science when I was young, very interested. So I know that about um, reversible reactions and all that. Uh, and they're all over the place. Anyway, the next big thing in water power uh, that really surprised me, 600 AD, Roman Empire and beyond, tide mills. So they were using tide mills from Persia to Ireland, uh, which is a vast area all across that area uh, they were using tidal power uh, uh, 1500 years ago and it's tidal power is a big deal now uh, but no one uses it so it's just kind of weird so I presume there were um, 
um, reversible water wheels where the tide would <coughs> come in and <coughs> turn them one way and go out and turn them the other way but I'm not sure uh, I only recently only this year heard about them and so that's um, they found them from 600 AD in Ireland uh, so Ireland was at the very very edge of the Roman Empire so they must have been all um, they must have been thought of quite a deal earlier and been used quite a deal earlier too so the next thing in water power this is uh, not very much heard of but it was very important uh, tromps so a tromp is just uh, water is going down a pipe and it speeds up due to gravity and um, pulls along air uh, bubbles down the pipe and uh, to go down a b um, into a chamber where the air is uh, the air bubbles come up to the top and were used to uh, blast air into um, when they were making uh, iron and it started in Italy it very quickly went to Spain to the Catalan region and this uh, method also traveled to the US uh, so in 1797 the airlift pump was invented in Germany now the interesting thing about air lift, uh, lift pump is it's exact opposite of a tromp. It's um, instead of uh, using uh, water power to pressurize air, you're using pressurized air to pump water. Um, with basically the same thing, just in reverse. 1880 tromps were everywhere, especially in Spain. So they were um, a big part of iron refining. refining and um, the powered machinery in the US and Canada with pneumatics and they were used to build alpine tr tunnels in France and Switzerland so it was a big big thing around 1980 hydroelectric power came in coal and oil and low head water power stopped being used almost all the wa low head water power sites got wasted until 1992 uh, so in Germany uh, a hydrodynamic screw was patented. Now this, all this is, is an Archimedes screw uh, in reverse. So instead of someone cranking it to uh, pump water up, they, le uh, they let water in uh, on top and it turns the screw. And 2003 Austria gravi uh, gravitational vortex. So this is something I had a little di discussion, or I was in a little discussion on an engineering forum about that. And people, engineers, do not like this idea. And it's because they've got, I think some people have one track minds. Basically, in with low head power, you can't take out all the power because there's other um, uses for the water. Like fish migration is a huge deal. This thing, gravitational vortex, allows fish to migrate up and down through the actual power station anything else and you grind up the fish which is not good for migration and um, they can't get around this idea that you have to um, you can have more than one use for um, a river it can um, in the modern sense it can't be all power you've got to um, rationalize that other people and other creatures uh, have to use the water too. Anyway, so why did I? Uh, how do I tie this in with uh, the human brain and um, rational thought? Well, see this Archimedes screw and see the date, 250 BC. It takes until 1992 for the human um, society to realize that it works in reverse. So that's incredible stupidity. Now. Um, gravitational vortex this was an Austrian guy in maybe the 1940s 1950s uh, worked on something similar and this man switched it around quite a bit and um, his um, his idea is working its way through Europe right now um, let's see what else oh yeah the Trump so in 1980 something I put a Trump on an airlift pump together and um, people have said oh I did nothing new well big deal I maybe I did nothing new but 
uh, there's no people <coughs> didn't maybe maybe people have used that before but they didn't um, uh, really I guess market it tell others about it and uh, there's no data on using it um, you know in the small small scale setting and here here again like we have 1650 the trumps were invented but it takes an extraordinary long time for humanity to to get two very similar processes to even figure out that this process works in reverse so it took um, about 150 years to figure out that a Trump, a Trump can work in, in reverse it took um, over 2,000 years to figure out that an Archimedes screw works in reverse and I'm sure individual people discovered it numerous times over the 2,000 years but um, they were shouted down or something strange happened in the brains of um, people to stop it from being used like um, the hydrodynamic screw is, is uh, pretty efficient but um, all that time um, it, it could have been invented you know 2,000 years ago so people I really think people need to be more open-minded about ideas than they are anyway um, I'm just gonna leave it at that it's probably pretty uh, difficult but uh, there's some points that uh, you might hopefully take from this